Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about full stack work. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, how can I become a full stack engineer the fastest way? I have been working for one year as a back end engineer and I'm thinking of joining a startup where I would be able to work on front and back end and DevOps. Well, if that is what your goal is, I think that what you're doing is a very good bet. Uh, so what I like to say, uh, this is actually something that I have given advice on twice and I've been very happy to hear back from these people. Uh, they actually did take my advice. I remember this guy, he asked me, this was years ago, uh, he had this conundrum where he had to, he was gonna go into one or two companies, either a startup where he uh, he did very much the same things that you were doing or a bigger company where he was going to work uh, on a specialist team where they were developing an SDK, SDK and that other you know, teams would consume and I said if you had been a senior software developer who had been working for years I would say go with the SDK because it seemed like because once you have mastered the core skills as I like to call them of software engineering going into these types of specialized projects that are a little bit out there, a little bit different, they will involve you more in many cases than just doing the boilerplate boring stuff that we've been like the, the that you start out with or in like just get bear with me, the sort of stuff that most people are doing. But if you are a junior developer, don't do that. You need to go through basic training first. The reason why you need to go through basic training first, at least from my perspective, is because without the basic training, you're not really learning the core skills of the industry. And those core skills are very often very, very important because that is the bread and butter of the entire industry. The things that you like, you mean these highly specialized projects that you might be learn uh, reading about, or there are people who do tech talks about various niche sort of things. They are the minority. They're very cool, but they are the minority. The people who are doing the bulk of the work, they're the guys and girls who are sitting in the audience, and they're there to learn from these people who do something extraordinary, something different, something out there. But all of the people in the audience are usually web developers who are doing the nine to five thing you know, at some e-commerce company or something similar. Uh, that's usually what it is. And so what I like to say is that the best thing for you is if you want to master something is to make it your job. And so what you're describing here is very much the thing that you're, that's probably the best thing that you could possibly do. You're going to go into a company where now it is your job to be a, front, a full stack developer and you have some DevOps in there as well, which is kind of, like it's, it is very common in the startup world that you have some type of operations uh, responsibilities as well. And I think that that is exactly what you should be doing. So like when it comes to like learning things the fastest way, nothing will beat doing it every day as your role. It's something that uh, like, uh, nothing, like, nothing you do will ever beat it. Like you can, if you are a full stack developer at work, you will learn that thing much faster than if you're a front end developer, a back end developer, or whatever, trying to learn the front end or back end work in your spare time. Because like you're, you're simply not, you're not going to be able to invest the same amounts of time and you're not going to face the same sorts of challenges. So I, I think that you should just kind of relax and and just accept that by just moving to, to a company where you have full stack responsibilities, that is like, that's the best move that you can make. So you've already made the, you've made the best move that you can make. If you want to add things on top here, I highly recommend that you start looking into the front end stuff. I mean, uh, if because if you're going to do front and back end and DevOps at this new company, uh, I would highly suggest that you you focus primarily on the front end stuff. If you've already done back end work, the reason why is because there's a lot of good content that will give you the bulk of what it is to work in front end uh, through tutorials and so forth. Uh, depending on what you're going to do in DevOps, you can sort of do the same sorts of things, but um, this is just me talking now. Uh, from my experience, there are certain things within IT that 
you can learn like the bare bone basics from tutorials online and so forth but it's really hard for you to grasp how to effectively work with these concepts without a mentor and in if you go on today look at DevOps it's very unlikely that you will recognize what the tutorials are showing you and what you're going to do at work because DevOps is one of those terms that everybody throws around where it means a little bit different it, it means a different thing in every single company if you are a DevOps engineer in one company that means that you're in charge of say the CI pipeline or you're in charge of their entire cloud infrastructure but in another company it just basically means that they have a full-fledged team of ops, uh, operations engineers who provide you with environments and clusters and so forth and then all you do is use something like Kubernetes or Chef or Ansible or something to like spin up your testing environment etc etc so it's a very different thing so I think that you should focus more on the front-end stuff because the, re the, the thing that you will find on the internet about front-end is very much the same sort of thing you're gonna find in the company but when it comes to DevOps it's better for you to learn that on the job and you will learn that on the job uh, and it's, it's I think that th that's just a better a better way, approach to it because as I said every company means something different when they say DevOps and every company has a different infrastructure but a tool like react or Wrangler or Vue, it's the same tool in every company and it's usually used in the same way so what I want you to take away from this is that if you want to learn how to be a full stack engineer in the fastest way the number one thing that you should do is to find a job where it is your job to be a full stack engineer nothing will beat having the label full stack developer if that's what you want to be because you're going to be facing the same the, the challenges that are relevant to that role uh, and once you have that just give it time because it does take time to learn something new and in this case if, if it's a back-end developer who wants to learn the front-end and the, the operations parts of the whole thing I highly suggest that you put your, f your main focus on the front-end work because the front-end and the back-end work is it's usually all the things that you can learn on the internet they are very good representations of what you're going to face in the workplace and those just those two th together they make you a application developer which is the normal thing that's like what the majority of all companies are looking for the reason why DevOps is is coming into the mix of things that people want you to do is because we're trying to get more and more out of our developers but it, it's usually fine for you to be a little bit weaker in the operations part than it is for the application development because most companies are still using operations specialized staff to take care of that part and another pitfall that is good to know about about learning about DevOps online is that the tutorials will just show you some maybe popular tools and things that like docker kubernetes etc etc but every company's infrastructure is usually different it is it, it is extraordinarily unlikely that you will be a capable DevOps or operations um, uh, engineer ready to go into your company's infrastructure by just learning things online it's much more like better for you in my opinion to get a mentor or learn on the job when it comes to DevOps and I also argue the same thing about pen testing and hacking there are certain things that are really really hard to get good at by just doing tutorials you can get the basics but learning by doing is much more effective have a great day